Hello PSI Gamer fans, and welcome back to another Ice Sheet video. We are continuing from where we left off with Shepard sleeping in his house. But come morning time, Shepard is going to run to the south and mine out a large sum of steel for a building project that I have planned. After mining throughout the day, Shepard goes back off to bed, and in the morning he begins construction on a larger, higher quality shack to the south. After some time, he has built a small house for himself. The house has two distinct advantages over his previous home. First of all, it is in a much better location in terms of defense. It is tucked further into the mountains, which gives Shepard more natural cover from future raids. Secondly, the room will be higher quality than Shepard's previous room, which will make it easier to keep his mood up. By the end of the day, Shepard has finished moving all of his furniture to his new home, and he even has time to build a small storage room next to his new bedroom before going to sleep in his new house. The following day, Shepard sets out to carry all of his items to his new home, but gets sick from food poisoning after he eats some raw meat. This will severely slow him down, but he will still manage to drag some of his possessions to his new house. The following morning, I make Shepard take off his helmet and flak vest. Despite being useful in combat, wearing them at all times will slow him down and wear them out. Later, as Shepard is hauling his things to his new house, a polar bear gets hungry and starts charging towards him. After five precise shots from his rifle, the polar bear is too close to Shepard, so he begins to retreat. Luckily, he has injured the polar bear enough that the he is able to outrun it, and after two more shots, the polar bear is defeated. And with a large amount of meat acquired, Shepard is going to quickly carry it back to his house for safekeeping. After another night of rest, another day of hauling, and some more food poisoning, Shepard has finished moving into his new house. He has also placed down some paved tiles in order to walk on the floor faster in his house, and they also look nicer than plain ice flooring. He will then go to the south of his house and mine compacted machinery to get components, and then we will go to the northeast to mine for some steel. After Shepard goes to sleep, we get an interesting offer. A refugee named Jimmy would like to take shelter with us for 19 days. I accept the quest with the intent of killing Jimmy for food, and he arrives at our settlement. Now that there are two people here, the game prompts us to name our faction as well as the local settlement. For the names, I set the name of the faction to The Cannibals, and I set the name of the settlement to Shepard's Village. Very original. Since Jimmy is decent at the construction skill, Shepard is going to have him start constructing a wall to separate his house and yard from the rest of the ice sheet. This will keep him safe from any animal attacks because they can't get past walls. Then Jimmy and Shepard will work together to give Shepard a floor to his bedroom so that he'll be in a better mood. At this point I realized I had made a mistake by letting Jimmy stay for this long because he has now become friends with Shepard, and Shepard will not want Jimmy to die. So I decided that instead of killing Jimmy, we will be letting Jimmy live with us for a longer amount of time. Then, late in the evening, Jimmy is so upset with the conditions in Shepard's arctic house that he decides to go dig up a body to get back at Shepard. Instead of going to sleep, he goes on a walk up to Shepard's previous house and unburies the rotting body from last episode, and carries it back to Shepard's new house and leaves it on the table. He then goes to bed and receives a creative inspiration because he is a tortured artist. I am not going to have him create any art, however, I am instead going to have Jimmy make himself a bed. Before that, though, he must rebury the body he dug up and get some rest on the floor in Shepard's stockpile room. Then, while Jimmy takes a break from being awake, Shepard gathers some of the steel and components and builds a wind turbine next to his house. This will be essential for surviving long term in the ice sheet because we will need to get a lot of power to grow plants indoors with hydroponics basins. Later on, Jimmy wakes up from his nap and gets to work on the bed that he was assigned to make. Because of his creativity inspiration, he makes a bed that is good quality. Since Shepard's bed is only normal quality, Jimmy will receive Shepard's old bed and Shepard will get the new, more comfortable bed. Next, Shepard will gather more steel and build himself a stool to sit on while he does research, as well as a heater which can be powered by the wind turbine as long as the wind is blowing. The heater does two things for Shepard. First of all, he researches 20% faster in a warm room than a freezing room. 
Second, the heater provides a small amount of light, and people work 20% faster in the light than in the dark. Then, in the night, a pair of man-hunting raccoons start heading towards the base, and in the morning, Jimmy goes outside with his knife to handle them. It would be safer for Shepard to shoot them with his gun, but I'd much rather Jimmy risk getting hurt than Shepard. Additionally, when Jimmy wins the fight, Shepard can get some experience in the medical skill by dressing Jimmy's injuries. Afterwards, we are rewarded for our efforts by a group of cargo pods containing 219 units of hops. Since we have no way to ferment them into beer, Shepard and Jimmy aren't going to waste time hauling all of them back, but if either of them have nothing else to do, they might grab some of them. Later that day, one of Jimmy's wounds gets an infection. This is very likely a death sentence for him because we only have one herbal medicine and I am not going to waste it on a temporary colonist. Still, treating his infection gives Shepard more medical experience, which is always welcome since he may need the experience to save his own life someday. While Jimmy is resting, Shepard takes the liberty to gather some of the hops from earlier, and while he is out, Jimmy actually manages to survive his infection after lots of rest, so he will be able to help out once again. While Jimmy is resting, he decides to have another corpse obsession, so he goes back to dig up the rotting body again. This time, he simply leaves it outside of our walls instead of putting it on the table, and this time I have Shepard dig a grave outside of his house instead of wasting time to carry the body all the way back to the northern grave. While Jimmy is wandering around in his corpse obsession, Shepard finishes researching the technology of batteries. If he builds a couple of these to store power, it will make the wind turbine a lot more efficient at powering the base, because it can store power for when the wind isn't blowing. The next research project that Shepard will begin will be hydroponics, so that he can build hydroponics basins and grow food inside. After that, I will queue up the construction of a battery right away. Even if our only power usage is a heater, it will still be good to have a warm house at all times. And after the construction of the battery, as well as power conduits to connect the battery to the power grid, Shepard goes back to researching, and Jimmy goes to mine steel. And to me, that seems like a good place to end this video here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, maybe leave a comment telling me how much you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Aside from that, I am going to be ending this video now. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.